This one's for all those Wii U fans that are still out there. Today is an extra special episode. Not only are the games that we're gonna bring to you today hidden gems, but they're also still exclusive to the Wii U. What are we drinking? Today there? we're drinking Raspberry Passion Fruit Sugar by Untitled Art. It's a Berliner Weiss style ale with raspberry, passion fruit, and milk sugar. So since there's fruit in it, it's still good for you. Yeah, it's super good. Okay, you know the drill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's talk about some hidden gems that are still exclusive on the Wii U. Hey everybody, it's Dave DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, and you're watching Gaming Off The Grid. Remember, everybody's got a price for the Million Dollar Man. <laughs> Fresh off the heels of our Wii U buying guide, which you guys seem to like. So there yes. are some Wii U fans still around. Thank goodness. These games that we're gonna bring you today are still exclusive on the Wii U and they're becoming more few and far between. These are the hidden gems that you can only play on the Wii U. Let's start with what I feel is the biggest tragedy in the Wii U history. A game that never got a physical release in the United States. Yes, it did in Japan. And if you're a fan of survival horror, horror games just in general, you know this series. This is the last one in the series so far. And that's Fatal Frame, Maiden of Black Water. Holy crap, this game is terrifying. So if you're familiar with the series, it's just like a survival horror game and you'll use this camera obscura to capture these ghosts, these these objects, these it's things. It's your defense against them because it reveals them, yes, basically. Yes, it's, it's terrifying. What makes it even more terrifying on the Wii U? Your camera is the tablet. Oh, it's so scary. I so think scary. The, the part that made me enjoy this so much was if you go back and play the games on the PS2, the tank controls are, they're so somewhat hampering, especially if you didn't grow up playing games from that era, where it's more of a modern control scheme. Yes, you can the control the camera and stuff. Yeah, and then I feel like being able to use the tablet is just a perfect... It's terrifying because sometimes you have to turn it to get a, to get a, a wider shot. Yeah. Oh man, it's so scary, all the jump scares. Oh fuck. Fatal Frame series is phenomenal, it's so terrifying, and I think this might be a game we play this October. So. Yeah, for sure. Limited run games, strictly limited games, somebody out there, please. please hear our cries to get this on physical form for whatever console you can get it on. It's a shame this never got a physical release. I do want to say though, it is free in the Nintendo Wii U shop, but like us, we were like, oh, excited for the free full game. It's not the full game, it's yeah. the trial version. It's the which first sucks. three like, episodes or chapters. Yeah, chapters yeah. or something like that, which is still cool. You get a taste for it, but the game is still 50 bucks and it's not even physical. It is pricey, that but... That makes it tough. It's a badass game. But if you're a survival horror fan, this is a must-play. Moving right along to a game that is violent. Oh. It's gory. It's almost hard to watch sometimes. I don't even know how this got approved for it's the Wii a, And it's a Nintendo exclusive, Devil's Third. So this might be a stretch because this is available on PC. But for home consoles, this is the only way you can play this. Holy crap, this game is badass. It is flawed, but it's badass. Yeah, uh, you know, this game kind of, to me, feels more of like maybe an early release for a generation prior, which oddly enough, I think it was originally developed for like the 360. Yeah, but then it got canceled or something. Yeah, like but anyways, this game's kind of a, you know, a beat em up slash 3D shooter. It, yeah, it's, it's it's very unique, very gory, man. This you play as Ivan, this prisoner who's kind of like the king of the prison, if you will. Yeah, he has his own room and stuff. Yeah, and they they basically you have to fight your way out of the prison because the prisoners know that you are working for the the, the system basically. Yeah. I need you to get past them to get to the surface to meet me. Do you come? Every asshole in this place knows I'm working for you. Might be a few minutes. You have to go through and you gotta fight your way out and they're all coming after you and it, it's amazing. This game is a ton of fun. You mentioned that it's flawed. The shooting mechanics could be better. Yep. Things like that, but the fun factor oh. is really high. This it's game got shit on in the reviews and, and stuff like that. But I, I challenge you, if you ever put this in, you're gonna be like, holy shit, Dude, this is fun. Especially the melee attacks, and when you pick up the machete or the, or, lead, or the lead pipe, and the way you just, <laughs> oh my god. I'm just still blown away that this is a Nintendo exclusive, and it's so violent and brutal because Nintendo's for families. Yeah. One thing that sucks about this game is though, it is $150 plus. Yeah. This game is so expensive, it's sort of fine. It and has fallen into that really rare yes, category. If you can get your hands on it, 
it's awesome. Yeah. It's so much fun, and it sucks that it's only available on the Wii U, but maybe that's a good thing. This next game is not a game we discovered. We're going to attribute this amazing find to Dads and Lads Gaming. Yes. We'll leave a link in the description below to their channel, but they recommended to us during our Wii U episode a little game car called Affordable Space Adventure. Oh my god, I've never played a game that is like this. No. It's three-player co-op. You can play it by yourself, but it's up to three-player co-op, and every person that plays has their own role, and you have to work together. Mm -hmm. It is so cool, and what's cool is one of the players has the tablet, and they're in control of, like, the engine, the lights, the energy, and then everyone else is in control of, like, controlling the ship, scanning things. Yep. Like, you have to work together, so, like, there's, there's a couple things that you scan, and they notice, like, your energy. So they'll scan it, then the guy with the tablet has to, like, shut off the power or control like all these gauges it's such a good collaborative game it reminds me a lot of like portal like a puzzle-esque game it has like a fallout like propaganda-esque you well know? i from a story standpoint not from how the game yeah, plays story i kind of felt a little bit uh of uh, bioshock Ooh, with okay. like so you're going on this space adventure that's like they're they're selling it basically you know space travel may happen in our lifetimes like this is, is something that's kind of uh, near near to you know what's going on in real life and they're saying hey it's affordable whatever but it's really a, f a flawed system there's disclaimers on the ads you once you get to outer space you automatically know hey this isn't what they just said yeah the ship sucks it's rickety you might not make it home you can be a professional space explorer let you explore provide you with a cheap but functional spaceship equipped with everything you could possibly need on an alien world. We call it Small Craft. But how do I find an alien world? We've already found one for you. We've named it Spectaculon. It's located 23 light years away. It's safe. Beautiful. But isn't space dangerous, I hear you ask? With zero recorded accidents since 1995, you explore is as safe as space travel gets. Rent your small craft today and get an extra 10% discount. This number might change next week. I don't know if I trust what's going on here. Dude, I've never played something like this. Yes, and it's just so unique. And I love that it's three player. Yeah. It's just... And, and it's, it's awesome. And it's a different experience for each of the three players. So I think the replay value is high because you could play through the game and, and then, then switch, switch roles, controllers. And yeah. that's a different experience it's, for me it, than it was before. It's it'd be the same story, but you you have to relearn how to play the game. Yeah. It's fun. Only digital download on this one. That's, that's another doubt. You know we love our physical media, but we're bringing you some bangers today that are must-play games. Affordable Space Adventure on the Wii U. If you've got someone to play this game with or two people to play with, you cannot miss this game. It's a must-own. Check it out. Yes, it is awesome. Awesome. Now let's move on to a series that a lot of people love, and that's Star Fox, but this is a twist. This is Star Fox Guard. Yeah, so a lot of people know Platinum Games, you know, helped with Star Fox Zero, right? And and for what it's worth, we love this game, and this yeah. is also exclusive to the, to the Wii U, but that's not really what we're doing here. This is more of the hidden gem. Everyone's heard of Star Fox Zero. I think a lot of people, though, did not play the pack-in game. Yes, you can Star only Fox get Guard. Star Fox Guard with Star Fox Zero. Or digital download. Yeah, or yeah, digital download. the only download. physical way to get it. It's weird, because Fox does make an appearance, but he's not really in the game. You play as your it's a tower defense game and it's really unique. It's really cool. You use the tablet to see all your cameras. You got to control the cameras and you got to shoot down all these people trying to attack your base. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hectic. It would be a good game for kids up to a <laughs> certain <laughs> third yeah, level. Up to about the third level. Then it gets really hard. Yeah. It's, dude. This game is simple, but like really fun. It is really fun. And if you have anxiety issues, this might not be a game for you this because might, it, it, it's good to play though. Cause someone can be like, Oh, camera free. Yeah. They can watch for you. That's a good point. So it's not co-op, but we were playing it co-op. Like you were control. Yeah, like you yeah. have to look down and like, it's, you got you to pay attention to a lot. Yeah. This game's intense. It's, it's thrilling. I also think this is a really cool game that, uh, you know, a lot of us, especially like the demographic that watches this channel, we don't have the time we used to have to dive into a, a really deep, you know, long game and, and put 150 hours into something. Yeah. The cool thing about this is you could sit down for 25, 30 minutes, defend 
a couple missions, and then that's and it. Boom. And what's and cool save is your game. There is there back. is a main story, but then there's also side stories you can do. So it's just like it's a longer game, but you only have to do like a couple missions at a time. It's not like a story driven game. And I love how it's in the Star Fox universe, but it's not really Star. Like it's 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 cool. Yeah, very cool. Very, very unique, unique game. Yeah. And a lot of the games we're bringing to you here today on this, you know, hidden gems for the Wii U that are still exclusive. Um, are they're they're just bangers and they're very unique. This next game is also very unique. Wario fans, pay attention. Yes. Remember a game called Wario Smooth Moves? We've talked about it before on the channel. Such a fun party game Great on party Nintendo game. Wii. Okay. Well, exclusively on the Wii U, it's not called Game and Watch. It's called Game and Wario. Wario. Whoa. Such a fun multiplayer party game. We sat down with uh, Mia Hurricanes, as yep. we did with Affordable Space Adventures, a yep. uh, follower of the channel, good friend of ours, and we dove into these games. Dude, that game is so fun. Dude. Okay. I don't know which game mode I liked more. Dude, okay, so there is a solo play. You can play it by yourself, but the party mode is where this game thrives. Yeah. And what's crazy is there's four game modes. Three of the four is two to five players. Yeah, yeah. Five players on the Wii U. Well, the, Dude, the way you can do that it's, is it's, you pass the tablet yeah, around. Yeah, you pass right? the yeah. tablet. So there's sketch mode, which if you've ever played Pictionary yeah. or any game like that, it's basically Dude. that. We suck at drawing, but man, it's it's a blast. Here's the funny part: is we don't have the stylus anymore. No, we were using our fingers. <laughs> we were using our finger, which made it honestly even more fun, dude. You and Mia are horrible at drawing. You, I just got to suck at drawing dude, too. No, I'm good. You guys, no, you'll, are you'll see the screen cap. <laughs> but it's so much fun. It's you know you got to draw and get them to guess what it is. It's pretty common standard uh, gameplay. The game mode that I really liked the most was called Fruit. It's a weird. You're like fruit. What are you, Fruit Ninja? No, way different. You're a thief and you have to steal fruit at a museum or wherever the location is. Yeah. And then the other viewers have to pay attention to the screen, the thief has the tablet, and try and figure out who the thief is and at the end they have to guess. And if you get away with it, you got away with it. It's it, amazing. It, it's hard. It's hard to explain unless you've played it, but man, there are so many characters that may interweave and you can go like up the top hallway and come out the bottom and then up through the side hallway oh, and come out the other side. It's so hard to track with your eye. There's tons of movement on the and screen. And lots of strategy if you're the thief. And I'm just going to say right now, I did succeed. Mm. So, just saying. So that, but okay. Yeah, but me, <laughs> me didn't. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's a, a really fun game mode. There's a game mode called Island where you're on oh, an island. Yes. And you're tossing these blocks onto a spinning platform. What were they called? Flocks? Or yeah, they were called something Something funny. like that. And you have to get so many in. But then towards the end of the game, it's cool because it allows the, the players who maybe didn't do as well to catch up because the the the, the platform starts to deal yeah. and then like a pigeon comes in and steals blocks yeah that's how i won because it, well it has like a kind of a botulism ball or bocce ball i mean feel um because you can like knock the blocks yeah, off of dude, the platform it's, right it's so cool it's so much fun and it, that game mode kind of reminds me of boom blocks it has that same kind of feel and mechanics you know yeah, with the yeah, grabbing yeah. And stuff yeah it's really cool because you use the tablet to launch your things onto the TV. Oh, yes, man. take a green! And you knocked it off. Yes! Fuck that! Yes. Fuck that, dude! <laughs> yes, dude, I win. Like, really? <laughs> I come back like that and this game wants to fucking do that? Yeah, because it grabbed one and also knocked one off. Yes! There's one for blue, baby! Mm. And then the last game mode is Disco. It's a two play. You can only do a two player, yeah. and it's kind of like it's versus, but it's kind of like a Tar it's a Hero rhythm type game. mixed with DDR. It's really cool and really unique. But I think my favorite is the fruit mode. That, that one's yeah, I think that that game mode is pretty cool. But those other three, man, if you've got a bunch of people around, two it, to five players, it's awesome. It's so fun. We're it's definitely a game that we are going to revisit time and time again, as we will with the rest of the games we mentioned so far on this list. Okay, this next one, I'm just going to give you the floor because. This is in the wheelhouse of one of your favorite games of all time. Yes, so this game got released for the 30th anniversary of Luigi, which is so cool. Dr. Luigi. Oh. Not Dr. Mario, Dr. Luigi. So what's cool about this is it's Dr. Mario. It comes with three different game modes. It's awesome. So it comes with Retro Remedy, which is basically Dr. Mario. Then it comes with Operation L, which is the same game mode, but with L-shaped blocks. And let me tell you, that is yeah, that's a mind so fun. much yeah. harder. It's two pills hooked together, and then when it lands, the pills will like disconnect. Oh man, it's like relearning how to play Dr. Mario or Luigi. And then the last mode is Virus Buster, and this one's super cool because you turn the tablet sideways, mm -hmm. and these blocks come in, and then they slowly just start coming in together. Yeah, so, Dude, yeah, so eventually you start with one, and you can you control where it goes. 
Then like three come down at the same yeah. time, they're all falling, and you have to. It's, you, I, it's. I remember we initially were like, "This is so easy." It's anxiety. But no, though. no, no. Yeah, it, it, it's not. And the cool thing about this that I that I like. So you remember the the Wii version of Dr. Mario. Yeah. There was like a reflection on the bottle that was kind of annoying. It was annoying. This game, th the effect basically is kind of like a reflection, but it shows you where your pill it shows is your set to land. It shows your shadow, which is yeah, really cool. Which is nice when you're wanting to play super fast, yep. you can buzz through it. Is this game super innovative? No. But like, what else can you do? I know like Tetris did Tetris effect. Yeah. But like, I think it's for the 30th anniversary, and bringing you Luigi in, it's, it's pretty cool. I, I loved it, I had a lot of fun. And it still has the original tracks, plus more. It's, yeah. it's pretty dope. And they're kind of refined, so like chill on this game, sounds really good. It sounds really good. Okay. So, this game, again, we may be taking some liberties here because it is a console exclusive to the Wii U, but it's available uh, in the arcades. Yes. This game's called Tank, Tank, Tank. Tank, Tank, Tank. Shake your booty. This game is kind of cheesy arcade. It kind of reminds me almost of like a light gun game, but yes. obviously well, you don't well, have a well, light it's gun. it's a Namco game, yeah. so it has that cheesy feel. It's it's very simple. It's just your tanks and you're shooting things. Yeah. There's versus mode. There's co-op mode. I think it's the, it's simple. It's fun. It's just a good party. I game. mean, would you agree that the multiplayer mode is kind of where it thrives? Like multiple people yeah, going that, after each that's, other. That's when it's fun. Yeah. You know. You know, going through the core of the story, it's okay. But I think this game is a fun. It can be got on the cheap. And if you've got again, if you're wanting to play like Game and Wario, oh, man, let's have a game party night. Tank, 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 tank. tank. Get could, a few rounds of that in, you're gonna have a good time. Yeah, you could throw that in the party remix. Ooh, speaking of remix, we got one more to talk about, and that's NES Remix Pack. This is so cool, and okay, this might be a stretch, but it is exclusive to the Wii U, yeah. this Remix Pack. I don't think it's that uh, of a divisive issue, because we have the NES Remix, which you can play on multiple yes. um, things. You know, there, there's the DS release um, and, and what have you. Then there was like the Ultimate Remix, which is a 3DS release, but it took away some of the stuff that is available on this. This is the only time that you can get the pack of Remix 1, Remix 2, and you can play them individually. Oh, dude, it's so cool. Plus, it because comes you have two, you unlock two very crucial things. You unlock the 1990 Nintendo World Championship game. It is stressful. It's so hard because it's very specific. You have to get like a certain amount of coins in a game. Yeah, so well, you it's, play Mario Brothers? You play Mario Bros. Then Mario 3 and then, and then Dr. Mario. Yeah. So you got to get a certain amount of coins, a certain amount of coins, and then a high score in Dr. Mario. And that's it. And at the time, I mean, you know, I don't know where the servers are, but when this first came out, you could then post your scores online, which would be really cool because it's yeah. almost kind, kind of like you're reliving the 90s World Championship. Not really, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like that. The other cool Part. Oh, dude, this messed Sup with my brain. Super Luigi Bros. Bros. Again, in the theme of the 30th anniversary for I Luigi. Think I think that's why they did that. It's Super Mario Bros. just reversed in your Luigi. Yes, it's the same game, but let me tell you, dude, it's hard. Dude, I can speed it's... run the first Super Mario Bros. in like seven and a half minutes or less yeah, I can all do day it, long. I can do it without really paying attention. This one, I was struggling. Like, I couldn't even make jumps. I was like, dude, why was it so hard? I think it's because we know the other version so well. If you tried this version and you hadn't played the first version, you might be able to figure it out. But as an expert at the first game, mm -hmm. Oh man, it's hard. I made it to World 4 without getting, and I got a game over. And I thought I was doing good. Yeah, and, I, and you were a part, I think we maybe No Death ran that together are really yeah, close. It was, so man, you know the game. It's cool. So uh, we've kind of, I guess, maybe assumed that you know what NES Remix is all about, because those are kind of the reasons to pick this one up, what differentiates it. But what this game is, is I feel like this is a great way for you know, person maybe who is restricted on time to play some retro games. I also feel like people who are wanting to like get better with their reflexes oh, in retro yes. games, because what you do is you. Th this does not have full on Nintendo. No, games. it's it's not just the games. They're like mini challenges within those games, and you only get like one, two, or three stars based off of yeah, how you complete so, it. So it's one of those things. I'm like a completionist, so like if I don't get three stars, I'm gonna retry it again. But if you complete it on your first try and get three stars, you get an advantage. So yeah. it's so hard. It's so cool because it takes your favorite NES games and remixes them. That's why they call it yeah. NES Remix. And it's just it's like, 
and real think, quick bursts of the game. I think it serves two camps very well. I think it serves as a great introduction to someone who may be in their, you know, teens or tw early 20s and didn't grow up with an NES to, like, get a taste. And I think it offers a remix, of, we're, we're spinning backwards for people who grew up with this stuff. It gives you a different way to play the games you love. It's such a cool thing. I think this is the best version to own. Yes, I mean, we have it on the DS. We have, I think, the first one on the DS. Yeah, yeah. And it's so much fun we put it on the airplane before. Yep. It's, it's just a great pass and play thing to get three stars. Such a cool, unique idea that Nintendo did. And it's just simple. And I love it. And it's exclusive, this version anyways, to the Wii U. To the Wii U. This is not exclusive to the Wii U, but this is another but Captain Algebra be. beer that we have featured many of on the channel by Untitled Art. Ooh. This is the Raspberry Passion, Passion Fruit, Fruit Sherbert. Sherbert, or if you want to be fancy, you can call it Sherbet. Wow. So this is a Berliner Weiss style ale with raspberry, passion fruit concentrate, and milk sugar. What do you think? Mine's almost gone. Yes. This is just a delicious, like this is a, like the ultimate summer beer. I want to be out with a cigar and a straw hat, no shirt on, in my underwear, and flip flops sitting on my front lawn. And he's never done that. I so haven't. This beer makes that's, it, that's, that's what crazy. It, that's what it makes me want to do. Uh, I mean, what do you want to do? I mean, I just want to drink this on a hot summer day. Yeah. That's what I say. Dude, this is so good it it has such a great fresh raspberry taste yeah um you brought up that there's not much of that sherbet coming through but i brought up that what's the taste of sherbet you taste the flavor yeah my, my point was is this could be a little sweeter it's a little more on the tart side than the sweet it's, side it's very because it's it's very raspberry forward with with the sour but, and the tart but it's not super tart or super sour oh man this is so we've good. had untitled art brews before on the channel this falls into the same line i would say it's an epic beer it is very unique this is another beer that i can't really off the top say man this reminds me of when we had this do you remember that i can't do that with i mean this beer. the only flavor that's coming through it, it reminds me a little bit of that raspberry milk stuff by left hand just because of the raspberry yeah taste. but and just a little bit like five percent because this it, this is just yeah. good this is a great beer. captain you're on point man always always delivers uh the great brew untitled art always delivers great stuff guys a quick little recap fatal frame made in a black water devil's third affordable space adventure star fox guard game and wario dr luigi tank 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 and the nes remix they're still exclusive on the wii u you guys know the wii u has been ported to death all of its amazing titles are over on the switch yeah but not these these are hidden gems and hidden gems that are exclusive on the Wii and U. And I believe that these games will not get ported because they're so weird, so unique, yeah. so just buried. Most people don't talk. I've never heard anyone talk about these. And a lot of them we found out just from word of mouth, you know? Yeah, I really do hope though that Fatal Frame does get ported. I really would like to get a physical release of that I'd, somehow. Yeah, but it wouldn't be the same on the Switch. Yeah. Because you can't play, you can't use the tablet, True. you know? So you would need one of those limited companies to... It would have to be on the Wii U. Yeah. This game, Fatal Frame, would only work on the Wii U. That's a good point. See? See? The Wii U is dope, guys. Dude, you're smarter than you act. I know. All right. And I'm acting, I'm acting then I'm smart. <laughs> There you have it. All right. We always appreciate you guys tuning in and subscribing to the channel. Keep gaming. Keep drinking. Man, get your Wii U on. Oh, grab man. some of these titles. We'll see you next time right here on Gaming Off The Grid. This one's for you, Wii U. This one's for you, Wii U. This one. It's hard with the U. This one's for all those Wii U. A little pregame taste. What's it tasting like? It's so weird, the color difference. I think you got the bottom of the glass. Or the can. Do you probably have more of the... Wow. That is good. That tastes like fucking fresh raspberries. Like it's like, it's like kind of tart. It is. I'm not, I'm not like picking up like as much of the sherbet. You know, like the ice cream type component, but it is creamy. But like, what does sherbet even taste like? Have you ever had it? I know, but like, it just tastes like whatever flavor it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a little sweeter than this comes off, I guess. Yeah, it's mostly the raspberry. Wii U fans, today we have a treat for you. Not only is this going to be a Hidden Gems episode, but all these games 